You're given a task of finding roots of non-linear equation. How would you tackle this problem? Would you solve it by hand or just write a program to do the heavy lifting for you? The latter is probably the preferred choice. Let's see how the false position method can crack this problem for you. We have a continuous function with multiple roots. Given the interval is just too big, let's isolate the root and reduce our search space. First, we pick two points A and B where the function values are with opposite signs. That guarantees that the root lies in between because the curve must cross the x-axis at some point. Even better, if you choose A and B so that function is monotonic in between, that the way you know there is exactly one transition from the negative to positive, meaning exactly one root inside. Now instead of chopping the interval in half like by section, false position draws a straight line between the endpoints A and B. Then it finds where this line intersects with the x-axis and that's our new approximation. Now we have a divided interval into two parts and we need to decide which interval to keep. The rule is simple. We keep the side where the signs are different because that's where the root still hides. Repeat the process, draw a new line, find the intersection, shrink the interval again and again and again. But when do we stop? As approximations get closer to the true root, change between them becomes so tiny, so that once the difference is smaller than a set tolerance, we can stop and accept the result as our root. And that's for the false position method. Want to see it coded up together with other numerical methods? Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one.